Greeting fellow modelers, I hope you're all doing well. Presenting the North American FJ23 Fury from the Quick Build series. Fellow modelers, I am telling you, the greatest deal and introduction you could ever possibly get is by going to Fiddler's Green. And here is the Fury. This is basically a navalized version of the Sabre. So everything looks so familiar. Yes, it is. And here I'm just showing you the parts. The wheel, the fuselage, the rear. Pay attention in particular to what it's saying about scoring, bending, and rolling. And this is a basic outline of how to put it together. So my tools. I'm addicted to my tweezers and glue stick and tacky glue, my X-Acto knife, steel ruler, and of course my trusty scissors. This I use to score, bend, and smear glue. So let's start with cutting out the parts. I usually cut the parts out so that we can focus on what we're doing with each part. Makes it a lot easier for me. Cutting out fuselage, canopy, main wing, tail section, and then we put them aside. Pay particular attention to the cross section of that fuselage. It will come in handy later. So let's build the center fuselage. Pretty much simple, easy, and straightforward. I love the look of the Fury. Of course, it is basically a navalized version of the F86. And here we're cutting out the tabs. We're scoring here, which means to lightly pull the knife along it so that we can fold it accurately. And then I use the handle of my tool that I use on glue to roll the paper. I use tacky glue here put it in place and the reason why I use that particular glue it dries literally within 10 seconds now we're paying attention to the fuselage cross section and make sure we have that so let's on to the forward fuselage we just repeat the same process like we did for the center fuselage cutting out the parts and yes this is the part I hate the tedious joint section but it pays off in the end if we just follow the instruction check the alignment tacky glue again and it should be good the beauty about these fiddlers green kit is that they are very simple they are not exactly accurate but they are really simple to build and you get good practice from it if you look here in particular the bottom of the aircraft is generally flat the top part has more curve in it again keep referring to the cross section of the fuselage profile and on to the nose cone assembly this pops the model give it some serious color so we use our trusty scissors cut it out then use the brush handle again to get some curvature in it and here I'm going to do a compound curve. You see that? I rotate the tip of the handle both ways. Now here I'm gluing just the top half alone. Make sure it's holding properly before I continue to glue the underside. So we glue in sections to make sure we have a firm hold. And there our fury is coming to life. Love that nose. Now this is going to get a little more serious because we're talking about making curves and then making bends on a single panel. Straight edge where there is a line to be cut and scissors when it's called for. Uh, 
cut this part out. That's going to be very important later. That's where the wing slides into. Now, we just partially apply some curve there, and this is where we're going to bend. We're bending along the line on the fuselage that the tail section is, and we can also use a ruler. So just watch the video carefully, see where I bend, and just follow it. And then the part we're going to glue, we're going to fold it over. So this is how we're going to join both sections. A little more curve in it. Put on our tacky glue. I cannot recommend enough getting tacky glue. The Aline's Tacky Glue is the best hands down that I know. If you know of any other, you can let me know in the comments below so I could try. But so far, this is a glue. It is my go-to. And now we're going to join the remainder of the fuselage to the rear fuselage. Don't be afraid to use your hands as the ultimate tweezer to feel the curve to make sure everything is aligned properly. And now we're going to reinforce the tail. Toothpick there, glue the rear, and we're good to go. And then a little trimming, like I said, the model is not 100% accurate, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to do things, but it should be good. And there we have a fuselage. engine exhaust is pretty simple pretty straightforward it's just to cut roll and glue in position at the rear it amazed me that the fury i know not much about unlike its sister the saber which everybody knows about because of the korean conflict I maybe need to do some more research on the Fury because if you ask me the early jets, the first thing come to mind is the Grumman Panther and the series of Panther. Anyway, there we go, engine exhausting. So the canopy is pretty standard for what fiddlers do. Just cutting it out, then we cut four sections and we join so pretty much it's what the video is self-explanatory however I cut a little bit if you look beyond the line where it joined so that way I can have a proper almost seamless joint again our trusty brush handle and we're going to put multiple bends and curves into this canopy and then we just simply quick glue in place use our tweezers to make sure it holds oh yes and by the way if you like what you've seen so far please consider subscribing i really appreciate it i would love to see myself doing this full time it's a dream and surely i can dream i would love to do all the models aviation models that fiddler have to offer that would be cool of course there would be so much more your halinski your gpm all those paper model of aviation i want to tackle there you go canopy in place starting to look like a fury stabilizers Using our sharp blade, we just punch a hole into the side where it's supposed to be and put a small toothpick. Now, here's the reason why I use toothpick. You could always count on it to make sure the stabilizer is level. And this is what makes a model pop a little more, is to make sure that it is not twisted or folded in a way that isn't needed give it a little more accuracy even if it is for fun build practice build
little trimming on the edge. We put our tweezer in to just give it a little space so that we can find the toothpick. Carefully aligned. In it goes. And cut the excess off, join the other side. Use a tweezer to just clamp the base, wipe off the excess glue that there is, and we're good to go. Loving this look. Yeah. Like it. On to the main wing. My personal rule when it comes to main wing, if it has a straight edge, I am going to use steel ruler to cut, give it a little more accuracy. If it has curves, of course, the scissors will come into play. Carefully align the center line, fold decisively. Once we get that there, put it on the desk and make sure we enforce that line. There you go. Using our brush handle, we put a little curve in the top and then we can go about gluing the rear. And this is for both sides of the wing. Now, when you're making sure the glue dry, do it on a flat surface so that you will maintain a straight edge on the trailing edge of the wing. It's very important to the look of your overall model. Here you see I'm just using the tweezer to just ensure a little space in between because this is where now I'm putting in the toothpick which will make sure the wing has some strength as well as not flopping around. Now let's see how this goes together with the fuselage. The glue tab I'm going to just Fold a bit, slide in the front and push up the rear. And don't worry about this, okay? You can then just use your tweezer, pull out what needs to be pulled out. And remember the model is generally flat. So take your time to check the alignment at the bottom. And then I'm just using a little bit of glue there to just tack in place once secured. I use super glue and I'm not worried about how much the glue is coming out on the model because these early model had a lot of oil and a little bit of mess on the underside so it just adds some character to the model the last thing we're going to do is some landing gear spend the time cut them out basic operation of cut fold glue and using a toothpick as you'll see here so now you see our model coming together i just want to thank you all for allowing me to do this and for you to even if you have followed this far in the video i really appreciate it so much more models to come and i just really consider it an honor to present this to you once a week and one day I hope it will be several times more. I especially want to thank my Patreon members for helping me be able to purchase models, to do these example, and to show how I get them done. This is a dream of mine. And my Patreon members and my subscribers and people like you helping this to become a reality. And I just want to thank you. Just a quick tip. After you finish gluing all the landing gear, both main and nose wheel, remember to add a little weight. What I do is put a small weight of a coin in the front, just glue into position so that it will rest on the nose. And pretty much your model will be completed. Simply paint to finish as I did in other models and you should be good to go. Well, this will be it for today. So my friends, take care, walk good. I hope you learned something new. Be gentle with yourself, have fun, have that coffee or tea, and
take life easy and like we say in my country one love